Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Good evening to you all, fellow countrymen and women. I'm sure we are all anxiously waiting deep down our hearts. We are all praying that the missing Pamela somehow should be found. That is what any normal human being, that is any what any society with a with a with a heart for human lives would be wishing. But of course, the people that we should count on or the people that we ought to count on to give us information are dead quiet. I'm talking about uh, the police and the inspector general who said they have got all sorts of resources that they were going to use at their disposal to help find Pamela. To date, most of the information that we are getting about uh, the missing Pamela is not coming from the police. The police are dead quiet. Their, 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 their lips are sealed. And I think these people, in their silence, they, they, they like to hide behind, no, we can't talk much because it will jeopardize the investigation. They like to hide behind that phrase to say, we can't talk much because it will jeopardize the investigation. They even want to ask people who are talking about this issue trying to push them to say, can you wait, can you be serious? Can you put more effort? They, are even, they don't even want us to be speaking. All in the name of it is going to jeopardize the investigation. I think the police are the ones that have jeopardized the investigation. With their lack of seriousness, with their lack of incisiveness in moving on this issue. Everything we know about the Pamela case has not come from the police. Everything the police knows about the Pamela case has come from the public. From people like you who keep on giving hints and uh, clues about uh, where we might find this person. It is coming from the public. Who has offered uh, money or ransom in case these people uh, would want more? It is not the police. How much have the police put on the table? Have you heard the police say we are putting up so much for anybody who would have information leading to uh, the arrest of the culprits that kidnapped uh, that kidnapped Pamela? Have you heard about that? It hasn't happened. Yet we know, we know that in any normal society where you've got uh, police that are professional, in such cases, when such cases which which move the spirit of the nation, which upset and shock the nation, when such things happen, the police always give updates on the situation. Of course, they won't give you details of everything that they are doing. But they have to give some kind of hope and show to say that they are doing something about it. Because all that we want to know as Zambians is that the police, the ones who claim to say that they have all the resources at their disposal to track this case, all that we want is to hear from them. How far have they gone? That is what the family of Pamela wants to know. How far have the police gone in assisting to bring this matter to a close? We don't have the power of life. We don't have the power to resurrect Pamela. We don't have the power to guess where the criminals that kidnapped her are. We don't have. We don't have that. But at least we need to be told. We need to be told. We need to find something. We need to find those criminals. Even if we can't find Pamela, at least let's find the body or let's find the, the criminals. You see? And when I talk about uh, uh, the chances of Pamela being found alive, being slim, it's not because I, 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 I don't wish her to be alive. I, more than anybody else, more than anybody else, I pray from the bottom of my heart that this girl should be alive. But we are dealing with criminals here that have killed before. Remember yesterday I told you to say that 
this case of Pamela is not the first case. There is a first case that was reported two months ago to the police that never did anything. These police so-called investigators, that's why I've got no confidence in these so-called police who are saying they are investigating. Because in the first case, there was a child who is the child to the to the missing Martha, that's her name, the first, the first victim, Martha. They found this child took uh, uh, on the roadside. She was injured. They took her to Woodlands Police. After that, she was taken to UTH. She was treated. They even interviewed the child. And the child gave them clues. Have they investigated? What have they found? This clueless police couldn't even connect the child to the missing mother. They had to be told by members of the society and the community there in Kenya to say, no, 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 this child that you have actually was with the mother who is missing on the material day when it was reported that the mother is missing. Today that's when they say, ah, gosh, those cases are, are connected. That's when they are realizing it. Sure. Sure. Can we still have the confidence to trust that we are safe with such kind of a police service? A police service that is clueless about where to start from in investigating uh, issues. They are clueless. I talked about the incompetence of the police. And when I talk so harshly about the police, it's not because I don't like them. They are necessary, yes. They are necessary in a society. They are necessary to keep law and order. They are there to protect life and property. We appreciate the existence of the police and we need the existence of the police. But when they exhibit such kind of incompetence where in eight days there is nothing that they have found, then we should be we should be worried. Are we in safe hands? And I'm speaking so passionately about this because this case of kidnapping, it is going to continue. Because criminals will say, oh, my police, why did they that? They are clueless. It is going to continue because they will not say that these criminals will not say they can get away. That is my concern. Because at the end of the day, these young ladies who are selling in boots, they are our sisters. Eh? They are our mothers. They are our, they are our aunties. They are our friends. I have so many friends that are working in boots. I have relatives that are working in boots. I have colleagues with degrees who I was with in school. They are working in boots. People are surviving from boots. Now, if they are not able to feel safe working, what do we expect them to do? They start staying home? This issue of kidnapping must be treated with the, the utmost seriousness. When the inspector general is talking about engaging all the resources available to find or track down this family case, it, he should mean it. He should mean it that they are engaging all resources. That means all the technology, the equipment and manpower at their disposal must be engaged. And if the equipment and the manpower at their disposal is not enough, if their finances, if they are lacking money, and we know that they always lack money. Each time you go to the police to report a case, you want to go and have somebody picked up. They say, Tilipe fuel, Tilipe transport. Yet the IG was boasting to say, we are going to engage all the resources at our disposal. Let me tell you something that I learned today. Again, through you people who are doing everything you can to try and help to put this issue to rest. We learned that there is an informer, somebody who has some information that could help. That person does not live in Osaka. That person does not live in Osaka. Guess what? The police invite him over and say, come to Osaka. That's what they said. Come to Osaka. Use your own transport money. Get on a bus and come to Osaka. These are the people, or this is the police which the IG was boasting that they have got resources, abundant resources at their disposal. They can't even put this person on a Zaf helicopter. If the police has no helicopters, of course they don't have helicopters. Engage Zaf and say, this is a matter of national security. We have somebody who could help in these investigations. They need to be in Osaka as quick as possible. Put them on a Zaf helicopter, fly them straight, land at city airport, and drive them to force headquarters. But you decide to put somebody on a bus. Believe you me, they put somebody with information that could help. And this person just volunteered to say, no, I can't keep quiet. I know something. I want to help. 
They put him on a bus to come to Lusaka. <laughs> at we have at we have resources. You don't, you don't have resources. If you had resources, why did you put an informer on a bus coming to help in this critical case? And I've, I've been saying this time is of the essence. Kidnapping cases are not like cases of a uh, uh, theft or aggravated robbery. Kidnapping cases work with time. Every moment, every minute, every hour, every day is precious. It's precious. Then you put on your, somebody on a bus. If the break, if a bus breaks down, we should be waiting to say, oh no, bus for many party want to make a change to pass information party camera. Yeah, for so the case. Huh? You put a a, a, a a key person to the information on the case, on a bus, eh? on a shalom bus. And you start waiting at force headquarters. We are waiting for that person. Are you serious? What if the bus overturns? Or what if the criminals intercept this person? Because what they want to do is to close all loopholes. That's what criminals do. They try to close all loopholes. Already we know that some of the people who, who could have an, an, had an idea, the family to start with, they were threatened. When they were communicated to by those criminals, the kidnappers, they were threatened to say, don't tell anybody. If you do, we will come for you as well. Huh? The police who are saying they have got resources. What resources do you have? Today we have heard to say, oh, this one woman that was insulting the pre pre president has been arrested. Her live video was this morning, I think I saw it, this morning or yesterday. That's when she, she, she did that. Today she's already been, before the sun even went down, she has been arrested. She's been traced. Eight days. Eight days for these kidnappers. No trace. No trace. At we have uh, resources at our disposal. That's what the IG is saying. That's the only thing we have heard. A statement where the IG said we have uh, 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 we have resources at our disposal. We engage all resources at our disposal to solve this issue. They have solved nothing. Up to this time, but the police is Z. And like this, the police, that's the way they are. Huh? That's the way the police are. When they are quiet, you think they are working. They are, not, they are not even working. They have knocked off. I can bet you, I can bet you my bottom dollar or my bottom quarter that as we, as I am speaking tonight, in this night, the police who have been assigned to this case, if they are told they are there, they have gone home, they have knocked off. Kaidi the Muboma be over time? That's what they say. Muboma will be over time. So I can bet you to say that they have, they have gone to sleep. You and me who are concerned about this case, you and me would wish for the best for Pamir. You and me who are grieving, who are losing sleep, who are so incensed by all this kidnapping uh, business, we are awake this time. Eh? We are making efforts. We are we are we are searching all over social media to see what what is the news. Is there any is there anything? Is there any breakthrough that has happened? Is there anybody who has heard something? Is there anybody who knows something? Is, is there maybe a miracle that has happened that somehow somehow that uh, this this girl is alive? We are searching. We are not sleeping. We are waking up early to check our phones. What are the updates? But the people that that we that we are trusting in. Eh, they are sleeping. They are sleeping. That's why. Eight days. Tomorrow will be day nine. And it's quiet. We know that this case, sort of case, eh, chances of finding her are, are, are slim now. The more the days and the hours go, the, 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 the more we lose hope, the, more, the less the chances of finding out anything. Less of all, finding out who the criminals are. Because we learned again through social media that these culprits are on the run. And they are on the run, of course. You think they can be in Lusaka? Eh? Maybe they have crossed borders in Malawi, Shango. I don't know. These guys are gone. They are long gone. And you know, chances that they might even be they might even be foreigners. So the moment they sleep the board, the Kwamana, they are gone. We will never see them again. And they have left our hearts broken. They have left us living in fear. 
Now we cannot even trust each other. Nowadays, when you go to withdraw money or deposit money at the booth, if you're if you're a man, all the ladies will be looking at you as a as a criminal. They'll be looking at you as a suspect. We are going to build a society of fear and mistrust. Oh, because we have nobody to to, to, to trust in. Even we we can't even trust in the in the police. With all the technology that is available, with all the technology that we have in this modern world, we can't steal. Of all the numbers that were used by those criminals, we can't even trace anything. I, I find that hard to believe. I find that hard to believe. I'm not an IT expert. I'm not a, an investigative police officer. But look at what we've been able to achieve. We are not police officers. You are not police officers. Those of you who have uh, shared critical information, you are not investigators. But look what you have been able to achieve. Eh? At least we have been, we've tried one or two things. We have, we have gotten somewhere somehow. We are not investigators. But the so-called professionals, what have they achieved? Eh? These guys, they can't even unlock a phone. Eh? At cyber security, cyber security. They can't even allow, phone a comaker. They can't even unlock it. Those guys. They claim to say that they're experts. Eh? For Mika Komeka. And I know this. I know this. I know this for a fact. Hmm? There was a time that we, we, we were arrested with Comrade Matomola. When we, when we were in opposition. We were taken there to force headquarters. Our phones were, 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 were being searched. They wanted to search them. We were in custody at Rusaka Centre. Guess what? They had to call us. I was like, eh? I thought the police had the technology to unlock a phone even if you are not there. They held our phones for one week. Wakangi Oksegula. Simple phone, Android. We didn't even have iPhones. Android, sharp. One week they never opened. Segulan my phone. So today, uh, the IG, can he come and impress me? That's why I've seen my camera. I don't just say, say, say things. I'm not impressed. Me, I wasn't impressed when I heard the IG giving a statement to say we are going to use all the resources available for us to find. Me, I need to say, hey, this is just public relations. Wafuna che, ka public relations che, vioneke chabati, watch out something. These are guys that failed to unlock a phone. I'm telling you now. They failed to unlock a phone. So if they can fail to unlock a simple phone, they call you the owner check when I was a good phone. Eh? In fact, up to this time, Comrade Matomola's phone is is techno power three. Up to now, it is gone. He had to buy a new one. They failed to open it. They failed to open it. So these are the people that we are counting on to say they they they, they have resources. They, they 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 don't they don't. For me, they don't. Even financial resources, they don't have because on the ransom money, it was individual people that were offering to say, Tizai Kapondaram, Gatafandarama, Tizafa Kapondaram. It was individuals, it wasn't the police. In other countries, I'm not even talking about the United States or the or the UK or any uh, these developed countries. Simple countries, South Africa, Nigeria Nigeria. It's the government that puts money forward first. They are the first to say, Can you mention name your price? We will deliver. The police who claim to have resources, they haven't delivered anything. They haven't even delivered a clue or insight about the whereabouts of Pamela or the criminals that, that, that kidnapped her. So we are in the dark. Bafuna Tenkani is a zero. They want a trail to go court. They want a story. I'm sure even where they are, they say that. That's what they are saying. I know the police how they talk. Bazaka Babazadema. Eh? That's the attitude. That's the attitude that the, that, that, that the police. That's, that's the attitude that will put me off about as about the police. There are few. There are few, if any, police officers who I know who got the passion. What passion am I talking about? I'm talking about the passion of whereby somebody goes and reports to, to the police to say, "Oh, you got a problem, so but in the Oku or something has happened. Can we go and pick up the suspect? Is there?" A police officer would say, okay, I'll use my own vehicle and I'll use my, my, own, my, my own fuel to go and help you pick that suspect. That is a police officer who's passionate. A police officer who's not passionate would just say, ah, Sakirani fuel, Sakirani motok. Muntu akufa uko. At Sakirani motok na fuel. 
even me where I'm, I am as, as a counselor, there are many cases, many cases where I've had to spend my own money, my own fuel to assist victims get to the police. I've never complained. I've never asked. Kairi is a scout. That's the scout. That's the culture that, that, that exists. If you don't provide, they'll, they'll sit. They'll wait. And further, further to the police being incompetent, these people are also refusing help. They are refusing help. There are a lot of people that have offered, and I'm talking about, I'm talking about uh, uh, people with technological expertise. Technological expertise. There are people that have offered to help the police to say, can we assist you to maybe trace where these people are? Up until today, I did not know that you can actually analyze a picture. Just a picture. You take a photo. You can actually analyze a picture and you can tell where that picture it was taken. I did not know that such technology existed. I did not know until today. Where? How did I find out? From somebody who told me to say I offered the police to help them, but they rejected my help. This person went to the, it was a, I think a, on Tuesday, this person went to the police at force headquarters, availed themselves to say, I've got see, expertise in this and that. Can I help you? They just said, no, give us your number. We are going to call you back. Up to now, we are going to call you back. That person called me. He just saw me like this, the way you are watching me on the live video. And he called me to say, my brother, I think you are passionate about this thing. Look, I was one of those people that have been trying to help. I was rejected. So if you are rejecting somebody who's got a technological expertise to be able to analyze a picture and tell you where that picture was taken from, you reject their help. Are you assisting or sabotaging this case? For me, it's pure sabotage. Refusing help is sabotage. This is the same police that says members of the public with the information who could help us lead to the discovery of where Pamela is or where the criminals are. Assistant. That's what they say. But somebody goes there, they refuse. This is the kind of the police that we are we are dealing with. Pretenders. Pretenders. Pretending to the public that, that they are doing something. Meanwhile, they are not. They have not done enough. Hmm? Can you imagine if, if Pamela was your sister? Imagine if she maybe she was your wife, she was your girlfriend, or your friend, somebody close to you, a church mate, a schoolmate. Can you be comfortable waiting for two weeks? Or it can be. No. 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 They should tell us the truth. The police should own up. If they have failed, let the IG come out like the way he came out on Tuesday and tell the, tell, tell the nation to say, eh, fellow countrymen and women, we have failed to solve this puzzle. Maybe let's engage the FBI. Maybe let's engage KGB. Or maybe let's engage CIA, let's engage Scotland Yard. Let's let's engage people who are serious, who've got the, the, the people with the real resources. Not the resources which my IG is telling us about. Meanwhile, they don't even have transport to bring in an informer from out of Rusaka. They, they decide to put him on a bus with his own money and start waiting for him to come. And they boast that they have got resources. They don't have resources. Let them engage people with resources. There is nothing shameful about asking for help when you have failed as a police. If you have failed as a police, ask for help from the international community, from the U.S. government. Ask for help. Tell them, say, we do not have the technology to, to trace this or that. Those guys have got amazing equipment. Hmm? Ask the Israeli government to help you with such technology. Eh? The Israelis have got technology whereby... <laughs> Even if there's your SIM card is just, you have thrown your SIM card, they will still find it. They will still find it. The simple phone which I'm using here, eh? this is uh, a common, common, common 18. This phone even tracks my movements. 
Whenever I'm going, every every week he tells me a, a, a trace of how I've been moving around. He chose the, exactly the past that I've taken the dots. He chose you've been in around this person place here. You have been frequenting this place. It shows, and that information is not saved on my phone. He saved somewhere above Kayanga Mu satellite in Ganikut. That's where that inform is. The information is is saved. Meaning, other people can have access to that information of my movements, of just by tapping into my smartphone. Are you telling me that Zikta doesn't have such inf such such equipment? Are you telling me that the Zambia police, force headquarters, cyber security don't have such? If they don't, why don't they just come out clean and say, Pali, but the chapter number files, number papers, my offices, yeah, and the broken tables and desks which were last used in 1964? Why don't they come out clean? Rather than giving us false hope, you know, there is nothing that hurts like somebody giving you false hope. Telling you that they are assisting, or they are going to assist, or that they are doing something, whereas in reality, they are not doing anything. There is nothing that hates like being deceived. And this is the general feeling that I'm getting. This is the general feeling which citizens of this country are getting. That police are just sugarcoating and pretending like they are working on this case. Meanwhile, they are not. This will be another Ruth Mbandu unsolved case. Eh? Where I would just say, oh, Chaka China, there were kidnappings, two ladies were kidnapped, they were never heard from again. Life goes on, let's move on. The police are good at moving on. But some of us, we are not good at moving on. At least, at least if we can even just find a, a body, we'll know, okay, it's tragic, it has happened, here is the body. You can't even help a police, you can't even help us find the body show. Eh? There are these, uh, we are so behind. The poli our police are so behind. I, 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 I can't understand. In other countries, you can search for a person using a dog. I'm sure you've all, you've all seen that. These canines, and I think Dek has some of those dogs. They just use them for sniffing drugs and uh, chasing people with Mabola Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Shang and arresting them, giving them long sentences. Eh? You can trace somebody's whereabouts using just a dog. Eh? All that you do is you just get Chovala Chake, you put the dog, the dog sniffs, and you go in a vicinity where you think that that person might be. They can sniff. A dog's sense of smell is 50 times more than that of a human being. There are some dogs that can even smell you, you're in a vehicle, you're moving. It can smell you and trace where that vehicle is going. Dogs. Such simple technology we don't have yet. We see police dogs. What are they used for? We the police are dogs, they are police dogs. What are they used for? Eh? We have come up with all sorts of bills. Yeah, Zikta this, Zikta that, cyber that, cyber. So, what equipment are we using? What equipment are we using? What, the, the equipment that Zita boasts about, the equipment that the police cyber security wing and the department which they boast about, Babi Seven Zeta Chani can shift into Fumasung if you can't use it in serious cases like this. Where IG comes to tell us to say this case is alien to Zambia. This case is alien to Zambia. Meaning what? That he, this case has never happened before. But IG, are you serious? You didn't know about the first case of kidnapping two months ago because when something happens once, it's no longer alien. It's no longer a new phenomenon. It's no longer a strange thing. But the, the IG was telling us this case is alien. Any statement? This case is alien to Zambia. It's an Zambian. Yes, it's an Zambian, but it's not new. It's not alien. It's now becoming a, a commonplace. It's becoming commonplace. We don't know when we are going to hear of such a case, but likely, more than likely, we are going to have another one. And if we do not send a strong signal, if we do not send a strong signal, if the police do not send a strong signal that they are seriously following up this issue, if we do not see results, and we haven't seen any results, 
then we can rest we can rest be assured to say that we are going to have another kidnapping and our worry our worry as a, as a society our worry is that the people that are being targeted are women our women they are the people that are being targeted this has now become women now have become an endangered species Today, as a woman, you cannot feel safe in your in your in your own country. You can't feel safe in the afternoon, broad daylight. You are not safe. You are not safe. You are not safe in the morning. You are not safe in the afternoon. You are not safe in the evening. You are not safe at night. People can just come and snatch you wherever you are in your booth. They can snatch you by the roadside. They can snatch you. We are no longer safe. So this issue is beyond just an incident of kidnapping. It's about a degenerating sense of safety and security in the nation. It's about the endangerment of women's lives. And we must stand up for women. I'm surprised that I haven't even heard from a NGOCC, women's organization. They should, be, they should have been up in arms by now. NGOCC should have been up in arms now. They should have been going to the police to say we have lost two women. What are you people going? Same, you know. Queen Mama Mange Fitenge by NGOCC. Eh? Mwai Mama Mange Fitenge Mwai Ku Police Kudia. You go and sit there from 8 hours up to 17 hours. Quietly. Now we can upload the Padapakapaki. Send a signal to the police to say that this is a women's rights issue. It's an issue of safety and security. Lack of safety and security for our women in our society. Tomorrow it will be your wife. Tomorrow it will be your girlfriend. Tomorrow it will be your sister. Tomorrow it will be your mother. What then are you going to do? That's why I even said yesterday to say that. Is it because that this, this, this uh, Pamela is not the daughter of someone important? Or related to some big fish in the police? That we haven't seen things moving speedily as we expected. So, enough has been said about this. But basically, to wind up everything, the police have drawn a blank in this case. There is nothing that they have told us. The only thing that they told us initially was about that statement. That's all. What do we know about today? We do know that the chances of finding Pamela alive are slimmer and slimmer. How do we know that? Because of the first incident where Martha was kidnapped. Up to now, she's never been found. Not even her body has been found. The only thing that we have is a child who was a witness. So Martha disappeared into thin air. The police never even bothered to look for her. They even never bothered to issue a warning alert. In some countries when such things happen, the police issue a warning alert to say that these incidences that are happening, can you, can, 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 can you be careful? No warning alert. So the first victim disappeared into thin air. Her body has never been found. What are the chances that we are going to find Pamela? Because again, we know from social media that the criminals are on the run. One or two people who know these people, they say these people already left some days ago at zero five hours. What have they done with Pamela when they were leaving? We know that there's somebody who might have information who the Zambia police negligently, recklessly led to come alone without even an escort, using his own money, using his own bus from wherever he was coming from to Lusaka to come and help them. They, 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 they have no seriousness in the way they, they do their work. That is what we know. That, that is the few information that we know. The big question, where is Pamela? Is she alive? Is she dead? We don't have a body. It's hope against hope. And the longer the time goes, the more that hope fades. For me, Zambia police has not only failed Pamela, they have failed Pamela's family. They have failed all the youths that are working in the booths. They have failed all the women who no longer feel safe. They have failed the entire Zambian society that expected them and still expects them to show us their professionalism.
to show us what they learned at Iliai. Some of them even fly outside the country for courses. Show us what you are capable of. Was if with all your equipment, you just uh, like tracing people who are in Saudi, heads of states, criminals, you draw a blank. How many people have lost phones that have been tracked? How many people have been robbed? Whose phones and uh, technological equipment has been taken? How many have you tracked? All those questions beg an answer. I end here for today. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.